Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey everyone, good afternoon everybody, and welcome to another edition of uh, the uh, AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, I know some of you guys are doing a lot better than others. Um, first and foremost, I, I we, we were seeing, uh, we've been seeing ridiculous uh, out of the money um, call buying on this AUPH since right around here, around $5 in the last two, two and a half weeks. Uh, the first order we saw um, I believe somebody bought a quarter of a million dollars worth of the December uh, 12 calls, right? This is when the stock was like a five and change. And I know a lot of people uh, in the webinar just been holding calls, just holding calls, just watching this thing, just kind of grind, 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 grind. And then stock got halted. Stock is halted. And <laughs> congratulations. I mean, what, what else is there? Uh, what else is there to say? Um, you're blessed. I mean, absolutely blessed. Um, it, again, it, it, the old adage is somebody always knows something, right? Apparently they do. I mean, apparently they do. And uh, I just been getting, you know, e whether it's email or messages, whether in the Twitter feed or whatever the case may be, just like over and over again, uh, just, uh, just amazing moves, just an absolute amazing moves. Um, <laughs> I think if some of you guys are, you know, if, if you're, if you if you're not careful, you might have like doubled and tripled your account. I mean, that's just phenomenal. Just absolutely phenomenal. Um, congratulations. Uh, I mean, absolutely congratulations. Um, I mean, what are you going to say? I mean, absolutely. What are you going to say? Um, pretty awesome. I mean, pretty, pretty awesome. And, um, you know, what are you going to do, man? It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal gift from uh, the market gods. Um, so, again, congratulations. So, let's talk about the market today. Uh, day three of tight channels. Okay. Uh, I was praying, hoping, praying, please, 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 you know, give me a side open today. Give me a flat open today. Uh, because these channels were so congested, we really needed kind of, um, a sideways open, whether it's up a little bit, down a little bit, we didn't care, but I wanted a side open. And if you guys look at yesterday's news, Trump said, well, you know, we don't need to get a done, deal done by 2020. The market kind of went down. Right. And today, the headline was, well, we're getting closer. Again, you're either pregnant or you're not. Again, look, there's a lot of conspiracy theories here that people are uh, trading ahead of these tweets, whatever the case may be. Nobody knows that for a fact. But it's starting to be really, really shady. I mean, you're talking about one day we're close, the next day, yeah, we could be doing this for years. And then, you know, and flip flop, flip flop. So again, you know, nobody's saying anything, but. You know, if it looks like a duck and smells like a duck and, you know, it's probably a duck, you know what I mean? So kind of wild. But again, what this is doing to the macro universe is really shrinking your potential, I mean, really shrinking your potential in the amount of names that you can control because these channels are so contracting. And again, like I say uh, every single day, you know, we're just trying to pick our spots. And today was... Another perfect example of there was only I think there was only two or three natural pivots today. I think everything else that we did in the webinar was just bounces, just bounces off uh, rising support. Uh, there was some rejection play, but most important bounces, strong stocks coming into support uh, and kind of getting moves up. And again, it, the market gives you lemons. You got to make lemonade. I mean, again, you can't sit there and, and, and cry and moan about it. You're either trading or you're not trading. There's nothing wrong with not trading. But again, if your if your um, if your process doesn't warrant uh, a contraction cycle to put your money on the line, it, it, that's your prerogative. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of maturity. Again, your spotlight, your process is not being highlighted. It's okay, sit it out. Uh, fortunately for us, we, we trade channels. Um, and these channels, when they expand, obviously you're, you're going to get two, three, four, five, you know, whatever, the, whatever the measure potential is. Uh, and when they contract, it's a really good strategy to bounce, right? To bounce channels uh, off rising support. So if you look at the pivots today, uh, Roku and especially like Shop, yeah, you know they went and they went pretty aggressively and went fast. 
But the majority, and you know, again, for all you guys who were in the live webinar today, for the majority, you know, my biggest move today was Tesla coming off of a bounce area on rising support and it bounced a couple of bucks. So again, every single day is not that day for measured potential. And again, the, the, the more inexperienced you are in this business, it, again, bravado is for somebody else, okay? Um, this whole ego thing is for somebody else. If you're not in the position to take advantage of an interval that is really untradeable for most people, that's fine, again, don't mistake, you know, don't mistake weakness with maturity. Again, you'll have easier days, or at least easier scenarios. There's no such thing as an easy day. There's no such thing as an easy trade. But there's easier scenarios that when channels expand, you have a better opportunity to make a three, four, five dollar move, for example, on a Netflix or a Tesla than compared to a contraction channel that you're sitting in channels within a dollar or two. So it's very, very important uh, to understand that it kind of goes back into the theory that you can't drive a million dollar Bugatti in uh, Midtown, you know, Midtown Manhattan, Times Square traffic at five o'clock, you're not gonna get anywhere. It doesn't matter how good your your vehicle is, you're stuck, you're stuck, and that's exactly what contraction uh, channels are. But good news is the market is very, very tradable, uh, very tradable. The bad news for the bulls, the bulls just can't reclaim this top of supply. And we talked about this top of supply uh, yesterday in last night's video. So until they do, and this area here is roughly like the 203, I would say roughly around the 20340s area. The bulls really need to start reclaiming this 20340s area. Uh, obviously, over 204, you know, the market lights up again. And again, that would be a perfect, uh, perfect time for a seasonality strong market, quote unquote, the Santa Claus rally uh, going spilling over into the first quarter of 2020. So again, not every single day you can get that massive push. But again, if you are responsible, and you're trading the same names over and over again. Uh, again, you have a higher probability because you're already familiar uh, with their tendencies, with, with their possibilities of range expansion if necessary, and the most important part is you're trading uh, under control. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about it today. Uh, again, Tesla, again, I don't put a lot of, I, I really don't put um, a lot of these bounce plays into the Twitter feed. Again, the Twitter feed is strictly for, I mean, I do it like once in a blue moon. Like you'll see, I, I put in a bounce on uh, Roku this morning. I'll show you that in a second. But again, what we're looking for, I, I put specifically just the pivots on the feed. In the live webinar, we trade all these bounce and rejection plays. Uh, so here is the play. I mean, he was a, a really nice play. Uh, we talked about, this was at the open. If you guys see, and again, sometimes I just say the naked eye, um, the naked eye is the best indicator sometimes. Uh, we talked about all this on uh, the PS60 uh, workshop. Uh, 2.0, 3.0, uh, and you can see stocks just trade in channels. Every single time uh, a stock gets to this bottom range, it bounces, bottom range bounces, bottom range bounces. So what do we do today? We bought it at the bottom range and we had a nice push. We had a nice $2 push in Tesla in the morning. Um, again, I didn't trade it in size. Again, how can you trade something in size when they're defending ranges? You can't, but the point is it's a high probability trade because channels, right? Channels are within that measure and you're trying to uh, you're trying to capture the meat of that channel move. So uh, great job. Great job for all you guys who took that. I actually try to do the same thing with LK. Um, I bought the bottom channel right here, 30, and it just sat there, you know, 30, 10, 29, 90, 30, 15, 30, 05, 30. You know, it just sat there, sat there. And I thought it should have bounced. Okay. I, sh I thought it should have bounced. And the biggest balance was only like like 25 cents or so, 20 cents or so. Um, I didn't take any offs. I just took a couple of coffee, basically a flat trade on that. But if you start looking at uh, if you start looking at uh, all the other pivots, they were pretty good. Um, they were actually pretty good. So Roku uh, again, Roku again. The reason why I say experienced traders only on certain trades is because when a stock is already expanded, it's not it's not always a pivot okay we discuss this a, a lot of times it's just momentum and here is the pivot or momentum on Roku um, here is the pivot right here uh, so here is the whole area right here we talked about this oh I'm sorry hold on uh, where was it right here so we talked this area here 149 149 20 uh, it broke 149 like in seconds and it went to like one 151 I mean really really aggressive move 
Again, here is the pivot right over here. Um, 149 needs to build for a spike, and it traded right to supply, right to supply, and then it got rejected, and then it reclaimed, blah, blah, blah. But again, very, very aggressive push there on Roku uh, Shop. I mean, monster. I mean, absolute monster. Uh, shop, again, red to green on watch for experienced traders. Again, the name of the game is red to green is not a pivot. Okay, guys, just do not for, for, for a second think that red to green is a pivot. It's just taking advantage of the previous day's momentum. I go, no, this is not a pivot, just momentum. 353 needs to reclaim, and this thing just went nuts. Uh, absolute nuts. Again, here is the 353, right? The top of the channel here is 353. 353, right? Da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. I mean, monster. I mean, absolute monster move. I thought it was going to stop at 362, 363, and it stopped there for like 10 seconds, and then damn it, it almost went to like 377. So, uh, really, really big move there uh, as well. Uh, B cell never got there. They sold it off, never got there. Uh, matter of fact, I think B cell was the high on B cell today. Uh, yeah, it never came close to that 1380, 14 level. Uh, workday, um, it was a quick aggressive move on Workday. Uh, once it started breaking here, you know, here's Workday, uh, 164.50, 164. If it builds below, it can flush. Again, look, a couple of bucks, uh, very, very aggressively, a couple of bucks, uh, went down to 62. I know several of you guys, I didn't trade this thing myself. I just wasn't concentrating on it. Uh, and again, like, and again, the, here, here are the pre-market notes. It's everything as at supply. That means you have to be seriously patient. And again, uh, you just don't know how much confirmation you get in the day. And again, like I said, these channels, they're going to expand, but they're not going to expand every day. And when you're sitting in a market that is congested, and you can see where the queues are, you're going to have a lot more rejection than you are confirmations. That's why I say you got to be very, very patient. Uh, again, Roku spiking makes sales. Um, again, you know, exploding room to 363, right from 353. Yeah, I mean, ran up another 15 points above that. Um, yeah, monster trade. I mean, there's some big, big moves, right? So here is kind of an example, uh, Roku, that, you know, again, because there wasn't a lot of go you know, a lot of stuff going on here today, so I did put a bounce, uh, a bounce play into uh, into the Twitter feed. And I said, hey, 60-minute uh, view is 143.70s, rising support. If it gets down there, you could trap late shorts. The problem is it never got down to 143.71. Uh, it got down to like 144 and then just exploded up five, six points, which sucked. But it is what it is. Um, again, BYND, we've been talking about this for days and nausea. Yesterday, it pivoted 77. It closed. You know, they had some nonsense news today. Now it needs to break below 75 to see the lows. Da 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 da. I know, I'm a child. Uh, 73.80s on deck. And that's where the stock uh, traded down to. The stock probably drifts a lot lower. But again, for all you guys have been holding BYND, just a good move there as well. Uh, I like this thing for tomorrow. I like this thing for tomorrow, KRTX. And then kind of let's lead, let's lead off of that, right? Let's lead off of that. We kind of know uh, what the cues uh, need to do, right? We kind of know what the cues need to do uh, to reclaim. Uh, so let's talk about KRTX, right? Uh, let, let's start the, start the, you know, start the, you know, start the, the show with KRTX for tomorrow. Uh, again, series of lower highs. You can tell how many times it stopped here. Uh, 69, 69, 69. That's what she said. Um, yeah, so this thing starts building 69. You can see the measure potential, uh, 62, and then all the way down to 57. So uh, KRTX looks uh, really, really good uh, for tomorrow's session. So let's keep an eye on that. Um, I like Berry. I like Berry, B-E-R-Y. Congratulations uh, for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.